In this video, we'll discuss three key points to consider in order to help your child with communication at home. Why is it important to promote and model communication skills for my child at home? How might augmentative and alternative communication methods, or AAC methods, support my child's communication at home? What support can I ask for from my child's school? Why is it important to promote and model communication skills for my child at home? It is likely that you and family members understand your child's communications, whether through speech, signs, objects, or use of an augmentative and alternative communication device. People who do not know your child well may have some difficulty understanding your child's communications. You can help your child's communications with others by promoting effective communication at home. One way to start is to work to reinforce communication goals that are in your child's IEP. Ultimately, the better your child can communicate, the easier it will be for others to understand your child. Good communication skills pave the pathway to more successful learning and participation in school, as well as more success with community participation, training, and employment after high school. You do not have to be your child's teacher. You can support your child's communication every day at home. You can start by supporting the school's approach during your everyday activities at home. How might augmentative and alternative communication methods, or AAC methods, support my child's communication at home? Start by considering your child's current IEP for communication goals. Think about ways to support those at home during familiar activities that are part of a routine. For example, Talk with your child during mealtime by making comments about the meal and all the things that happened during the day or that you are planning to do. You can also read with your child to support communication skills. Research indicates that adults can support intentional communication when children are participating in activities they like. Reading to your child or talking while playing a game are possible ways to support your child's communication. You can also promote your child's communication by increasing the time you spend communicating with them. If your child has an augmentative and alternative communication device, or AAC, be sure that you both use it during your talks. When you as the parent use the device, you will model words that are used in conversations. You do not have to use the device to say every word, but you should use it to say some of the words when you talk with your child. The AAC device can be used to expand on speech and to serve as an alternative to speech. Using an AAC device can improve the speech of your child and increase interactions with others. It can also help with language development. What support can I ask for from my child's school? For additional resources about how to support your child's communication skills while your child is at home, first ask your child's teacher or instructional team. Ask about the approaches teachers were using while your child was in school. Ask how to address IEP goals within home routines. If there are no communication goals in the IEP, there are other places where you can find supports that might help you get started. There are a number of resources available online. These include resources for educators from the Ties Center and from the National Center on Deaf Blindness. Numerous resources are available from Project Core and the TAALC, or Teaching Age-Appropriate Academic Learning Through Communication Project.